As a seasoned video game player, I've seen my fair share of metabols in my time. And let me tell you, they are not all they're cracked up to be. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that metabols are actually the worst. Know your f place, trash. Now don't get me wrong, I understand the appeal. Who wouldn't want to be the best at their favorite game using the most efficient strategies and gear available? But here's the thing, metabols are like that one friend who always has to be the center of attention. They may seem cool at first, but eventually they just get exhausting. For starters, metabolds are the ultimate buzzkills. They stamp out any chance of creativity and experimentation in favor of the most efficient way to play. This is especially frustrating for those of us who enjoy trying out unconventional strategies or even just having fun with the game in our own way. And don't even get me started on how exclusionary they can be. If you're not willing or able to conform to the meta, you're basically left out in the cold. This can be especially tough in a competitive setting where players feel pressure to conform in order to keep up with the competition. Talk about a homogenized and unfulfilling gameplay experience. Are you? Are you out of your mind? The worst part about metabolds is that they're always changing. Just when you think you've got a handle on the most effective way to play, the developers go and release a patch or update that completely shifts the meta. All that time and effort you spent optimizing your build, poof, gone in an instant. And let's not forget about the snowball effect that metabolds can have. Players who are already performing well just keep on keeping on and while those who are struggling have a harder time catching up. This can lead to a frustrating and potentially toxic environment where players feel like they're constantly at a disadvantage. But even the developers aren't immune to the negative effects of metabolds. Balancing a game is no easy feat, and when a metabold becomes dominant, it can be hard for them to predict how players react to certain changes or updates. This can result in a lot of wasted time and resources trying to address the issue. Metabolds may seem like a great way to optimize your gameplay but really they're just a big old headache they kill creativity exclude players they are constantly changing and they create a negative environment for everyone involved it's time to ditch metabolds and embrace a more diverse and inclusive approach to playing video games